All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can create these um, flyers, and it's a bifold flyer. So here is the front, and here is the middle. And I actually have a picture of these. Um, so again, here's the front, and then as you open it up, you have sort of this middle inside. Um, this actually came as a request from my website, Printables with Microsoft Word, and um, I do monitor the chat lines. I also have a multitude of videos, everything from creating invitations to numbered raffle tickets, um, water bottle labels, but more importantly, if you do not know how to download and install new fonts, watch my video on in downloading and installing new fonts, um, and it will walk you through everything you need to know. I would be so appreciative if you would subscribe to my channel and or like any and all of my videos and if you do have suggestions and recommendations for upcoming videos please let me know all right so I'm gonna first go ahead and create this front of the brochure or the flyer then I'll create the middle then I'll show you how you can put it through the printer in order to get this printed out um, so the front and then sort of the middle okay so first thing um, we want to do is we want to go to File, New, Blank Document, okay? We want to go to Page Layout, and we want to go to Orientation, Landscape. Uh, the next thing I do is go up to Margins and go to Narrow, and that just kind of gives me more real estate to work with, um, so I, I tend to like to do that. All right, so next thing we want to do is we want to insert a shape, and we want to insert a line. And we want to hold down the Shift key, and we wanna just kinda of go somewhere in the middle. And then keep holding down the shift key before you let go of the mouse, and then that will ensure that you have an absolutely straight line. Next thing we wanna do is go till you see this little cross, and then we wanna move this till we see that green line. Once we see the green line, we know that is the middle of the page, okay? Next thing we wanna do is we wanna format that line, and we wanna do a shape outline of just this really light gray, and this is just gonna act as sort of a guide um, for us to know where we need to actually um, fold the piece of paper, right? So people won't actually really see this or notice this. It's just a guide for us to know where to fold it. Now, if you're going to do a bifold, working with the printer, um, what you're going to want to do is actually this is going to be the front cover and this is going to be anything on the back cover, if you want anything on the back cover. In this example, I don't have anything on the back cover. Um, it's basically just here's the front cover, you open it up, and then here's the middle. All right, so um, this is actually for our Family Fun Night Carnival that is coming up at our school. First thing I want to do is I want to insert a text box, and I want to draw a text box, and I'm going to do a welcome to the carnival. We're going to want to click a format, and we're going to do a shape fill of no fill for that text box, and a shape outline, and no outline for that text box. And we're going to say welcome to Z, and we're going to highlight this, and the font we used, the font I used for this is Great Day Personal Use. Um, I love this font, I just downloaded it and I'm starting to use it quite a, quite a bit. Uh, and the size of this is 22, okay? So that's welcome to that. And then we can go ahead and make this text box smaller if we wanted. And we want to insert another text box and we're going to be doing the carnival so let's go ahead and make this pretty big right there and we're going to go ahead and carnival and we're going to go ahead and highlight this and we want to again click on format we want to do a shape fill of a no fill and a shape outline of no outline and we wanted to make that all cap because we are using the circus font and the circus font you need to have all capital letters um, and let's just go ahead and make this 48 for now. Um, and the reason why I say for now is because what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on format, we're going to want to click on text effects, we're going to want to click on transform, and I believe what I used was fade right. Oops, nope, I used fade left. Nope, I did use and actually, I apologize about that. I did not do a very good job of documenting what I did there. I think it's actually fade up right here. So cascade up. That's what I did. Cascade up. I apologize about that. Okay. Next thing I did um, is I did the cascade up. And then I also clicked on format. And I did a text fill of gradients. And I want to do 
a text fill of gradient where it starts black and it goes to gray. And we can go ahead and go back to the text fill gradient and click on more gradient colors. And the reason is because right here I want this to actually be black. And then I want to get rid of this one. And I just want it to go from black to gray. But this gray is a little too light, so I want to make this gray just a little bit more. Okay. All right, so that's how I got that. All right, next thing I want to do is I want to do an insert, and I want to do a text box, and I want to do a draw text box. And I want to click over here, and we're going to write family fun fun night. And this is AR Bonnie. And this is 36 point font. And we can go ahead and make this just a little bit smaller to line up with the L for the carnival. And obviously the other thing I want to do is click on, because if we see here we can see that te ugly text box, is we want to click on format. And we want to do a shape fill of no fill, and we want to do the shape outline of no outline for that text box. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert a text box, and we're going to do sort of these circles. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to insert, and I want to go all the way over here to symbol. Okay. I want to click on more symbols. And what I used was actually the wingdings. So I want to go, and those are defaults. So you shouldn't have to look or, or download this um, from the fonts. But every font has their own symbols, and this goes into detail in my um, fonts, installing fonts and using symbols video. Um, and I think it's actually wingdings too, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is. So you can go ahead and click on these circles, okay? And what I want to do is I want to do a um, two spaces in between, and again, that's just the space bar. And I want to go in between, and again, this is a black and white flyer, as you could tell. So I'm going to go in between this black and this gray. And then we could just do a control C for copy, and then click here and do a control V for paste. I want to highlight this, and I want to make that gray. And then what we can do here is we can highlight this, and then we can do copy, and then go over here, do two spaces, and then we can go paste. And then we can go, oops, paste, and then we can go Paste. And again, if you can see up here, I'm going to the home and I'm clicking paste. Okay. All right. And we can make this maybe a little bit bigger to get that final, final one in there. And then we want to go to format. And again, we want to do shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. Okay. All right. Now we want to do another text box. where we can just do http colon slash slash eastgate.org. It's not our actual PTA website, but this is again just an example. And I can go ahead and make this Calibri, and I can make this 24. Okay, and again, I can click on format, shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline. And then from here, I can click on here, right click, copy, right click paste and then I can just simply move this text box down here okay um, now finally I want to insert a picture and I'm going to insert our PTA Eastgate um, PTA logo so let's go to family fun night here's our PTA logo and if I try to move this around I can't so what I want to do is click up on here for layout options and say in front of text or you can right click and do wrap text in front of text. And then I want to make this much smaller. And this is the black and white flyer and I want it to see what it's going to look like black and white. So I want to click on format. I want to click on color. And you can just go ahead and click on the black. Okay. And then we can go ahead and insert once again another text box and we can draw a text box. And then we're just going to say sponsored by colon 
And this is once again AR Bonnie. I just love that font. I use that in so many of my videos. And again, this is a 22 point font and we want to click on format and do a no fill and a no outline. And then finally, we want to get people to go to the website to fill out the survey because um, we spent a lot of time um, creating this carnival. We want to hear what people have to say about it. So we can go ahead and insert a shape. And what we want to do is we want to insert one of these block arrows and we can just go ahead and do this. And then from here, we can go ahead and move this circle. And you can make it bigger or smaller. And then we want to do a shape fill of this light gray. And we want to do a shape outline of black. And then finally, we want to insert a text box. And we want to draw a text box. And we could just do that right here. We want to hear from you. Please take five to uh, minutes so we can make it better next year. Okay, and then from here, we can go ahead and go to home. And I'm gonna make this Old Gaudi actually, um, cause I'm gonna use Old Gaudi from, um, or sorry, Gaudi Old Style, cause that's what I use on the inside of the pamphlet. And I'm gonna make this a 16 point font. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is, do you see how between the U and the please take five minutes, there's a lot of spacing? That's because there's additional line spacing. So if you see that, you can always go to line spacing options and you wanna click on zero and you wanna click on single, okay? And then we can just make this bigger and then format. And of course we wanna do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. And we want to make this bold. Okay. And then we can obviously turn this on the side and just move this right in there. Okay. So now we have the front cover. And again, the front cover, it's going to have to be on this side of the page for the printer. Now let's go ahead and create the inside. And once again, we're going to go to page layout, landscape and we're gonna to go to margins and we're gonna go narrow. Okay, once again, we're gonna insert shape and we're gonna insert there. We're gonna hold down the shift key, keep the shift key held down and we're gonna wait till we see that green arrow and we're gonna go ahead and do a shape outline of this gray. Okay. Now what we wanna do again, this is, we're actually gonna be handing these out when people come to our carnival. So um, we have a couple things that we want to tell people about, first of which is the agenda, and we're just going to make this big, one great big text box. And if you wanted to keep the text box outline, you could. I just don't like doing that ever. Um, where and when, and then we can say 615, oopsies, fire truck, oopsies, arrives. And actually, rather than writing all this out, I am just going to go over here and I'm going to copy and paste this. And I press Control C and I'm going to go here and I'm going to do Control V. And then as you can see here, I want to go to home. I want to actually center all of this. And as I mentioned, this is the Gaudi old style and this is a 14 point font. This is Broadway. And this is a 28 point font. Okay. Now, um, what I did was I inserted a symbol and the symbol that I inserted was from Circus. So if I go up here and type in Circus, I can see this little fun symbol here and that is Circus-y or carnival -y. So that's what I wanna go ahead and do. And I wanna go ahead and highlight this. Oh, and actually I did put um, a few in there. You could do a couple things. You can do, you know, three of them. You could go to home and you could make this bigger, right? Um, you could also make them white and do an outline if you wanted to do that. You can kind of have some fun with it. 
Um, but that's how you can get sort of that halfway point. And then we want to do, oops, oops, not circus point font. We want to do Broadway staff half. And what the staff half is, um, is we're trying to get our community members involved. So we are having the staff members take part in the carnival. And what we did here was we inserted a table. And this is basically to tell people where and when they can find their favorite teachers or their teachers. Um, rose below. So this is basically so people can find where to find their teachers, um, which is kind of fun. And you know what, let me go ahead and um, delete table. And I'm going to try to insert another table. I did that wrong. And let's go ahead and do insert table. We want to do, I think we have 20 teachers. So we want to do 20. And I once again did that wrong. I apologize. I don't know why it's just, um, taking me so long to insert this table. Insert table. We want to do columns two and we want to do rows of 10. Okay. And then what we can do here is we want to go to not Broadway 10. We want to make this 12. And then we can highlight since this table, um, Basically what happened was the font was set for Broadway 12, which is a big font. If I set this to Gaudi Old Style 12, when I initially created the table, it would have made the cells much smaller. And actually it's going to be a 14 point font. Um, but that's why that table turned out to be so large. So I apologize it took so long, but it was a good learning experience. So from here we can just type in... where the teachers are going to be. Again, you might not have the staff half. I'm just showing you how you could actually recreate this. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we can go ahead and right click and we can click on copy for this text box and we can go do a paste and we want to just move this one over. And then from here, rather than when and where, we're going to go ahead and write outside. And basically here's a list of our games outside rather than writing all this out. I am just going to copy and paste it um, so I don't waste all of your time. And let's go ahead and just do that. And then the last thing that I did was I inserted sort of a background um, of our Eastgate PTA logo. So a couple things here. Um, you want to go ahead and say in front of text for now, just so we can see it. And we want to click on format and we want to do a color of this gray. And if we wanted to, we could probably make it just a little bit less. There we go, like that. And then from here, we want to go ahead and do send it back. Now here you can see that I did not white out these text boxes. So what I want to do is I want to click on format and do a shape outline of no outline. We do a shape fill of no fill. And again, for that text box, we just want to do a shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline. Okay. Now, um, once you have both of these done, you're going to want to go ahead and print the um, top or the first page. You're going to want to print this first. And then I put it in my printer like this. So with the top page showing up and then when it went through the printer it would actually print on the opposite side um, the inside of the pamphlet and then obviously when it comes out it comes out great so what I would do what you do if you want to print out 50 or 100 of these is you print out 50 copies of the top page first then you put those same pages back in the printer and then you just print out the second page um, or the, the second document that you created, and then it will create this nice, beautiful, trifold pamphlet. Uh, anyhow, I hope you found this helpful. Um, please like my video, and if you did find it useful, and subscribe to my channel, and I'd be so appreciative. Um, thanks so much for listening.